Right now, the stock market is fragmented. What does that mean? Well, we're in a twilight zone. We're trading above the 50-day moving average, but stocks are below the 200-day moving average. Some sectors are making new highs while others are making new lows. It's a mess. Now, imagine, imagine for a second that you can eliminate the weakest sector and only focus on the strongest sector. And that's what we're gonna get into in today's video. Now, before I let you go, I created an action-packed 90-minute class on sector rotation. It's gonna teach you everything you need to know about sector rotation and how to select the best sector for this kind of market cycle. Watch it, register below this video, do it now, talk soon. All right, we're back in the lab and today we're gonna to talk about selecting the best sector. Now, why is this so important right now? Well, typically when stocks are bullish, most sectors are bullish and that means you don't have to really worry about selecting the best sector, you can just ride the entire stock market. But right now things are a little bit different, okay? The S&P 500, which is the broad market index, is trading above the 50-day moving average, but it's trading below the 200-day moving average. So the stock market is fragmented. It's in a twilight zone, for lack of a better word. Now, going a little deeper, the S&P 500 holds 10 major sectors. If you were to take apart the S&P 500, you would find that most stocks fit into one of these sectors. Now, if you count the number of sectors on this breakdown, you'll see 11 sectors. You'll see telecommunication services. Typically, telecommunication services goes inside information technology. So this graph holds 11 sectors, but it's typically 10 sectors. Regardless of which way you look at it, 11 sectors or 10, right now, some sectors are putting a major weight on the overall market. They're bearish while other sectors are bullish. For example, right now we're looking at the industrial sector. This sector gained 12.70% since the beginning of the year, if you can believe that. Almost 13% gain in less than 30 days. That's quite amazing, actually. Now, if we look at the utility sector, it only gained 2.33% during the last 30 days, the same time period. So if you're holding the industrial sector, you would have gained 12.70%. But if you held the utility sector, you would have only gained 2.33%, a lot less. Now imagine, imagine what if you could eliminate the weakest sectors and keep only the strongest ones. For example, look at the industrial sector, 12.70% over the last 30 days. The financial sector, 11.23% over the last 30 days. Real estate sector, 10.70% and so on and so on. And what if you can eliminate the weakest sectors, the utilities, the consumer staples, the healthcare, all the ones that would drag the account down? Now, if you could do that, if you can choose and pick which sector you buy and eliminate all the weak ones, you can substantially, and I mean substantially, outperform the stock market, right? This is very exciting and very important because Everybody wants to outperform the stock market, and I'm showing you a very simple mathematical way to do it. And I got a lot more to get into today, but before I do, I want to remind you that the sector analysis that I'm showing you right now, it's child's play in comparison to what you learn in my ETF sector rotation class. Understanding sectors is a must right now. You've got to take charge of your portfolio and eliminate the sectors that are slowing your account down. This class will teach you all about sectors and how to pick the best ones. Sign up now below this video. Now let's continue. So this graph shows you our current sector rotation exposure and the secret behind profitably trading sector rotations is picking the strongest sector and buying the strongest sector and selling the weakest one. Yes, you can buy the strongest sector and you can sell the weakest one. For example, this current rotation, which we hold for about two weeks, has three sectors long, and it also has one sector short. We're short right now the tech sector due to the China trade war. This sector is the weakest sector, so we're shorting the weakest one, and we're buying the three strongest one. And that's the key. You only want to buy the strongest sectors and sell the weakest ones. And here's the bottom line right now. In this super fragmented market, if you don't know how to target only the strongest sectors, then you're not trading wisely. You're simply gambling. Many of you emailed me wanting more sector selection help. 
So I'm holding a class where you'll not only learn my roadmap to the hottest sectors, but also how to precisely predict what major stock sectors are set to do over the next two week period. It's not too late to take advantage of the current market cycle. So register now for this free 90 minute class where I'll show you exactly how you can use sector trading to profit in both booms and busts with exceptional accuracy. Don't risk any of your capital on trading sectors until you attend this class because once you start applying what you learned, you'll never look at sector trading the same way again. This class will fill up fast, so sign up now to reserve your spot.